$141 or fight it in court. Live at 6, home of Triple Doppler Radar, this is your News Channel 3. Tonight at 6, police wonder when will they learn. Your News Channel 3 and Chesapeake Police catch drivers speeding around the very same curve that just claimed the life of a local high school student. And it sounds like something out of National Geographic. A Navy team returns to Norfolk with the last remains of aviators lost on a remote glacier in Greenland. It's a historic homecoming some 40 years later. First, a News Channel 3 investigation uncovers new details about a Navy SEAL murder in the city of Virginia Beach. It's big news when a Navy SEAL is murdered. It's even bigger news when the suspect is also a SEAL. And that is the situation in Virginia Beach. According to court documents, Navy SEAL Ronald Gasper told 911 operators he shot and killed an intruder at his home in Virginia Beach. The intruder turned out to be another SEAL. Beach police say the Navy asked police to not reveal the men's names or addresses or the arrested man's mugshot for reasons of national security. The Navy now disputes the police account of that conversation. But this week, as News Channel 3 learned more about the case, both Beach Police and Navy officials confirmed that local SEALs were indeed involved. News Channel 3's military reporter Stacey Davis is here with more. The plot thickens. Yes, it does. And we're learning a little bit more about the victim in this case, 24-year-old Brad John Dahl, talking with family, friends, and high school classmates We've learned John Dahl was hard to miss. He was a big guy, six foot four, easily 240 pounds. Now he graduated in 1998 from Aberdeen Central High School in Aberdeen, South Dakota, a school of about a thousand students where John Dahl played football and was in the school orchestra. Classmates say he talked of becoming a SEAL and he joined the Navy right out of school. Now John Dahl was found wounded in this home in Virginia Beach on July 31st. He would later die from a gunshot wound to the stomach. Police charged the home's resident, Ronald Gasper, also a Navy SEAL, with his murder. He was put in jail without bond, but that soon changed. On August 10th, he bonded out on what police say is a low amount for a murder charge. Nationally, only 13% of murder defendants are released on bail before trial. The average bail amount for murder is $587,800. Now, Ronald Gasper's bail was set at $30,000. Now, that bail was set after a top-ranking special warfare officer in California agreed that Gasper would not be deployed or sent on assignments. Now, the final decision on bail was up to the Virginia Beach judge. Now, we reported yesterday that Beach police were asked by the Navy to hide the roles of the Navy SEALs in this case in the name of national security. Well, today we spoke with a Navy official who disputes that account, and he is currently Drafting a response, we'll bring it to you as soon as we get it. Well, your News Channel 3 is also tracking breaking news out of the city of Norfolk tonight. Police just wrapped up a two-month undercover drug operation in the Huntersville section of the city. As a result, the grand jury issued 52 felony indictments, charging 20 people with the sale and distribution of narcotics. And as of this time, 11 suspects are now in custody. The investigation and search for the remaining suspects continues at this hour. Well, today represents a major turning point for two Norfolk families. Christopher Morning entered a guilty plea today. It was a brutal crime of murder. He killed 86-year-old Pal Taylor, a retired Air Force colonel. Police say on May 31st, Morning broke into Taylor's Larchmont home, beat him, and then shot the elderly man in his face. Taylor hung on for a while, but died a few weeks later. Family members from both sides were present as Morning entered his guilty plea. Yeah, the only thing I can say is I'm sorry about what happened. And, uh, we'll be missing our son. It's been, now we can stop thinking about it and we can go forward. The judge sentenced Morning to life behind bars. Well, tonight, police are looking for the trigger man behind a deadly shooting in the city of Hampton. The accused is 24-year-old Lee Anthony Rogers. Police believe he shot and killed an 18-year-old during a fight. The shooting happened yesterday afternoon inside a home on Bay Avenue. Now, anyone with information on Rogers' whereabouts should call Crime Line at 1-888-LOCK-YOU-UP. A warning sign is now posted outside a Chesapeake nursing home. A two-alarm fire broke out yesterday at the Good Samaritan home on West Road. Twenty-four people and several staff members in the assisted living home were there at the time of the blaze, but everyone got out safely. 
Today, a man from the city's Department of Neighborhood Services posted signs stating the building is unsafe. That means no one is allowed to go inside the Good Samaritan home, at least for now. All of the residents have been moved to other local facilities. Final goodbyes today for a Kentsville High School student killed in a high-speed crash. Funeral services were held today for 17-year-old Michael Perry. He died when he lost control of his car Monday night. Police say Perry was speeding as he came around the curve of Mount Pleasant Road and fall landing in Chesapeake. Michael Perry is the second teenager to die on that curve. Two years ago, a Hickory High grad died at that very same spot. And that was after the city lowered the speed limit at the curve to 40 miles an hour. But it appears the message is not sinking in. Neighbors tell your News Channel 3 drivers rarely slow down on that curve. And News Channel 3's Lisa Godley found out those neighbors are right. She joins us now with our Chesapeake Mobile Newsroom with more on this. Lisa? Good evening, Barbara. During the past two years, according to Chesapeake Police, there have been 55 crashes here in the 1600 block of Mount Pleasant Road. Two of them fatalities that happened on the spot directly behind me. Neighbors here know all about the consequences tied to taking that curve at a high rate of speed. But as we found out earlier, most drivers don't. White truck behind that is doing 65 miles an hour. One thing is certain, the majority of drivers aren't slowing down when they come into this curve on Mount Pleasant Road. This afternoon, Chesapeake police officer Chris Bender clocked some drivers traveling as fast as 25 miles per hour over the recommended speed. The last time Chesapeake made changes here was in 1990, moving the 45 miles per hour sign closer to the curve. News Channel 3 asked city traffic engineer Earl Sorry what's next, and we're told they'll conduct a field investigation to see what safety measures are already in place and how to approve upon those measures if necessary. And based on the outcome of that field investigation, we'll prioritize uh, any measures that may be appropriate. Meredith Stewart has only lived off this stretch of road a year, but she's already seen more than her share of crashes and has a few ideas of what to do to make the road safer. I think you know, a really good solution to that, it might not help a whole lot, but I think a good solution would be to maybe put a sharp curve sign down there with caution lights so people notice it and recognize it. I mean, now, some neighbors we spoke with say the road should be straightened out. Others agree with Stewart that a flashing sign would make a difference. Now, we asked engineers about putting something like speed bumps or ridges in the road, and they say that's probably not feasible because this is a major connector between Virginia Beach and Chesapeake. Now, if you have concerns about this road or any road in your community, you're encouraged to call the Public Works Department and their customer service line. Reporting live from Mount Pleasant with the Chesapeake Mobile Newsroom, Lisa Godley, News Channel 3. Lisa, thanks. Well, hopefully the drive home on the interstates is a safe one tonight. Let's check in with News Channel 3's Bianca Martinez. Hello, Bianca. Hi, Barbara. Well, the good news is that there isn't a lot of speeding out there, but that is also the bad news. Let's take a live look at the drive 64 around 264. This is actually at the interchange. And you can see how slow these folks are moving as they try to work their way on to 264. And that is because of an accident that has been clearing around witch ducks. Let's take a look around military and see how things are shaping up there. Looks like we are seeing a few fender benders because right now folks are just bumper to bumper as they make that drive towards the oceanfront. Still working to clear that accident completely out of the way and obviously still having effects on the drive. The good news is, is the drive has eased up just a little bit for folks trying to make their way to the peninsula, they are slowing down around Mason Creek and seeing pots get the slow and go as they approach the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel. Folks heading to the south side slowing down around Settlers Landing. I'm Bianca Martinez, Sky Cam 3 Traffic. Bianca, thanks. Beware of Plum Tree Island. That is the warning tonight from officials in Pocosin. News Channel 3's Nate Custer tells us what had been regarded as a potential danger at the wildlife refuge is now a visible threat thanks to Hurricane Isabel. For more than 50 years, military pilots practiced bombing here at Plum Tree Island off of Pocosin. The bombing range was closed more than 30 years ago and it became a wildlife refuge. Now dolphins swim lazily around in the waters of the Chesapeake Bay just off the island. But during Hurricane Isabel last year, ordnance, which had been buried for decades, was uncovered. U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service agents discovered the bombs when they visited the island in June. They can become more dangerous as time goes by. The explosive inside of them, as they get older, they get more sensitive. 
So essentially, uh, anything that grows on top of the bomb is protecting the explosives that are inside of it. The Army Corps of Engineers has established and is marking off an expanded danger zone, including Plum Tree Island and extending several hundred feet out into the water. But we're going to have um, day beacons out here that are really going to mark that area. And then on shore and along the perimeter of the island, we're going to actually have signs placed up so that will warn people also. And law enforcement patrols are being stepped up. The penalties for going into the restricted area, up to six months in jail and a $500 fine. So what's the next step? Well, the community meetings will be held, and the Army Corps of Engineers is going to launch a study to see just what to do and whether possibly they can remove some of the unexploded bonds. From the Plum Tree Island Wildlife Refuge off Pocosa, Nate Custer, News Channel 3. Coming your way in just 60 seconds, lights out for a popular night spot. Straight ahead, wait till you'll see what's going up to replace the old Norfolk hangout Knickerbocker. Plus, 40 years later, the Navy brings home the remains of lost aviators. Still to come, the incredible mission and what it means for the Navy team who successfully pulled it off. Call 227-6500 and get an instant forecast from your News Channel 3. Can you say dump in Italian? The world's leading designer of leather furniture just had to learn how. Friday, they're forced to dump 15 truckloads of world-class leather, 30 to 70% off price. 600 sofas, chairs, and recliners in genuine Italian leather, dumped for a fraction of the prices they wanted to get. In Milan, this sofa would be $1,200. This weekend at the dump, it'll be $677. Can you say 70% off Italian leather? Here's your chance. This weekend to the dump. It's Toyota Todd, the nationwide clearance event, the year's biggest event. You've got to act now. Get big clearance savings on 2004 Camry sedans with a thousand cash back or 2.9 percent APR financing, or lease a 2005 Camry LE for just 2.29 a month for 48 months with 1995 due at siding. Your new Camry is loaded with standard features. Toyota Todd, selection, value, clearance now. It's been sitting at the corner of Chesapeake Boulevard and Little Creek Road in Norfolk for decades. But now it appears Knickerbockers, a popular night spot, is getting ready for its final and last call. So what's taking its place? Here's News Channel 3's Bob Matthews with the answer. Bob? Well, Barbara, normally neighbors fly off the collective handle when a convenience store plans to open in their neighborhood. We saw that with Chesapeake a couple of weeks ago. But in Norfolk, residents near Little Creek and Chesapeake Boulevard seem excited about the fact that Wawa is going to open its first Norfolk store there. So why does Wawa make everybody go gaga? We tried to find out. Beth Anderson sells pharmaceuticals and just moved here from Maryland. Wawa is a favorite stop for her because it doesn't cost anything to use their ATMs. And it's nice that you don't get a double whammy when you want to use a, an ATM, ATM machine. So I'll make a special trip up here to use that. While Wawa's corporate offices say officially there is no construction schedule, City Councilman Randy oh. Wright tells your News Channel 3, Wawa is on the way to the corner of Little Creek and Chesapeake Boulevard, where Knickerbocker's nightclub now sits. Wright says there's a reason residents are excited about a new convenience store. We call them the Cadillac of the convenience stores, and uh, we're, we're elated. But what is it about Wawa that seems to make customers so excited when they come to town? Gas does seem to be around the lowest price, but Avon Howard, who stopped here for lunch, says it's more than low fuel prices. This place has more stuff in it. Yeah, you got fruit behind you, it looks fresh, mm -hmm. it tastes good, and that's what people want. The company said it learned about taking care of people as a dairy about a hundred years ago. As a matter of fact, Wawa still sells its own brand of milk today. And this is a difference that customers say they see when they walk in the door. I mean, they even have ice cream and yogurt and cottage cheese, and it's just it's a nice thing to pick up. And, and everybody's usually really nice here anyway as well. Now, while Knickerbockers has been a fixture on this street for decades, the folks from nearby neighborhoods say they're pretty excited about seeing Wawa come to Norfolk. Right now, sources tell News Channel 3 the permit process is underway. The company says it has no timetable, though, for the store's grand opening. Stick around. News Channel 3 at 6 will be right back. Hampton Roads. You asked for more weather information to plan your life, and your News Channel 3 delivers. We not only give you a 10-day forecast, every day we give you a 10-day forecast that's more accurate than anyone else's 7-day. The Triple Doppler 10-day forecast pinpoints the next 7 days and looks ahead to the following week, giving you the accurate weather details you asked for to plan your life. Trust the Triple Doppler 10-day forecast. I do. You asked, we deliver. Only your News Channel 3. 
Virginia Beach Dodge and Hall Automotive are now one, forming the all-new Hall Virginia Beach Dodge. But their ad isn't our ad because the all-new Hall Virginia Beach Dodge will beat any advertised price on any new Dodge or pay you $500 cash. Bring us any newspaper ad from any local Dodge dealer and no matter what their price, no matter which model Dodge, we'll beat that price. Or pay you $500 in cash. Choose from one of the largest selections of Dodge vehicles at Hampton Road. The all-new Virginia Beach Dodge, the best price, or you get $500 in cash. drivers feel really good riding with Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. What am I doing on an elephant? I'm nuts. I'm nuts about selling cars at low prices to you. I can't wait to get you down here. We'll do anything to sell you a car. Look at me. It's a huge sale. Hampton Chevrolet has new Malibu loaded. $14,999. Finance through GM and make it $13,999. Tires for life included. Zero for 60 months through Monday. Start an American revolution with Malibu. $13,999. At Hampton Chevrolet, we've got tires for life, 100% credit accepted. This sale is huge! Hey, it's your future. Here's what's up in the exciting world of healthcare. Nursing's fun and extremely exciting. It's fast-paced and there is something new every day. The pay is great and there's always room for advancement. You work closely with the patients and the doctors. Nursing, check it out. To learn more about your future career opportunities, log on to WTKR.com and click on Your Future. Riverside, Sentara, and Bon Secours, partners in your future. What do you want from a car deal? I want fair, no, low prices. I want honesty, someone I can trust. I want value, something special. What about tires for life? At the First Team Automotive Group, new cars, trucks, and SUVs include tires for life. Tires for life, the idea was yours. We just listen. Nine brands, five locations, tires for life included. If you're not getting what you want, you're not at a first team store. Triple Doppler Weather is brought to you in part by Cavalier Telephone. Brave naval aviators hunting Russian subs, an icy blizzard, and a terrible crash. In 1962, those three things combined to make an incredible and tragic story. News Channel 3's Stacey Davis picks up the story from there. On a cold, remote, and barren glacier in Greenland, a recovery team out of Norfolk scours the ice for their fellow aviators. They're searching in the wreckage of a plane that crashed in 1962. Once tasked with hunting Russian subs, the 12-man Navy crew is finally all accounted for. But this day was a long time coming. 42 years, seven months later to the day. Why did it take so long to bring these Cold War heroes home? The same unforgiving Arctic weather that probably caused their crash takes part of the blame. Initially given up for lost, the wreckage wasn't even found until 1966, four years after the crash. But the hardened ice and weather would only relinquish seven of the 12 men at that time. So why didn't anyone go back for the rest of them? Politics may carry part of the blame. That was the problem for so many years because they said it was a peacetime mishap and that there was no funding in Congress to retrieve the bodies. Jeff Redding didn't know the men, but as a fellow Navy aviator stationed in Iceland, he couldn't live with the thought of the men left in icy graves and couldn't believe his country was forgetting them. And so I'm thinking, well, if, my, if one of the planes I was in would have crashed up there somewhere, does that mean they went to get my body because it was during peacetime? But finally the money, $250,000, was found. And finally the weather cooperated. And finally a Cold War crew can come home. A disturbing chapter in Navy history can be closed. Last few years, every summer around this time, I start thinking, wow, now the ice is receding and the bones are exposed again. And, you know, but now it's knowing that they got them finally. such a relief. For your military watch, Stacey Davis, News Channel 3. And we want to thank those individuals in that story for their service to our country. All right, because of all the clouds and rain we've had over the past couple of weeks, temperatures have only been in the 70s and 80s. Today, different story. Bright sunshine, still mid-August. Made it up to 90 today. Right now, skies are dry. We're going to stay dry tonight, although there are a few showers and thunderstorms popping up 
out to our west. I'll show you where and where they're headed in just a minute. Live look outside with our Skycam 3 network. The view from the top of the Armada Hoffler Tower out of the Virginia Beach Town Center. A hazy sunshine temperatures today up in the 90s. It's going to be hot and muggy again tomorrow. In fact, we're still up at 88 at the beach. Same story in Chesapeake, Norfolk, and Hampton. Down to 86 right now in Portsmouth. Baywater temperature today is at 75 degrees. Low 80s on the eastern shore, 84 Manio, still 90 in Suffolk and Franklin, 91 also in Newport News. Now there are a few showers and thunderstorms beginning to fire up from D.C. out to the west. Same story from Roanoke down uh, just north of Charlotte, but they're well to the west of us. And I think if we can make it through the next couple of hours once we get past sunset, our chance of rain for the rest of tonight really goes downhill. So for the rest of tonight, most of you will simply see partly cloudy skies. It'll be warm tonight, 71 to 75 degrees. 90 degrees was the high today. It's going to be hot again tomorrow. If it was 90 at your house today, in fact, tomorrow, likely it'll get up to 91. What about our chances for rain? Tomorrow, just an isolated late-day thunderstorm, mainly a dry day. But as we head towards late Saturday afternoon and evening thunderstorms, a solid bet. Some of that lingers into early, early on Sunday morning, and we're going to be dry for the rest of the day Sunday and into Monday. So on our future cast radar, you follow along with the time up here by the 3, by 8 o'clock tomorrow evening, as we talked about, mainly dry. But as that heat and humidity builds up, a little wind begins to blow in off the water. There could be a little isolated storm. And then as we head towards uh, Saturday night, a much better chance of widespread showers and thunderstorms. Humidity for tomorrow, moderately high. You're certainly going to feel it with that afternoon heat. Winds on the water tomorrow out of the southwest, 10 to 15 knots, with waves at 2. So tomorrow, hot again, but a slight breeze to help cool you off, 87 to 92 degrees. So the heat stay, stays with us for the next couple of days, upper 80s and low 90s, but a big, big drop in our temperatures and humidity beginning Sunday. There's the rain and thunderstorms we talked about Saturday night into early on Sunday morning. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday look great. Next chance of widespread rain looks to hold off by the end of next week. News Channel 3 at 6 is back right after this. Her husband took their two children and won't say where they are. Now he sits in jail silent. Where are Sam and Lindsay? They're all right. Funny how we get Tomorrow at 4.30 on your News Channel 3. News Channel 3 is brought to you in part by Buick. Buick, official car of the PGA Tour, presents the Summer of Champions, a model year-end sales event. Rainier, available V8, leather-appointed seating, standard. Rendezvous, available seating for 7, 26 miles per gallon highway. Now get 6,000 total allowance on the 2004 Rainier and Rendezvous when you finance through GMAC at your Buick dealer. Summer of Champions. I've never heard President Bush even talk about it. It's like he doesn't know it's a problem. Health insurance premiums skyrocketing four times faster than wages. Employers dropping health benefits. 43 million Americans uninsured. I just think President Bush has no plan to deal with this. John Kerry does have a plan. Tax credits to help small businesses provide health insurance and reimburse employers for catastrophic costs. The Democratic National Committee is responsible for the content of this advertisement. Sometimes stuff just doesn't work right. That's why you should drive a Toyota certified used vehicle. Toyotas have that dependable quality, so you shouldn't have to worry about high repair costs. Don't you wish Toyota made more stuff? See your Toyota dealer now for great low financing on Toyota certified used vehicles. The best new cars make the best used cars. Lauren and her mom are both going to weight loss camp. It's a whole new concept, getting fit family style. So how's it working? Details tonight on the CBS Evening News with Dan Rather. The countdown continues toward the chase for the championship with that story and news of a Virginia driver changing teams. Here's Joe Moore, the voice of MRN Radio with your News Channel 3 NASCAR Insider Report. Thanks, Ted. Just four races away from the chase for the next Nextel Cup and the scramble is on. Ryan Newman fell out of the top ten after last week's race at Watkins Glen. Jeremy Mayfield slipped in, but you got five guys within 99 points of making it into the top ten. Now going to Michigan this week, it's a racetrack most of the drivers like because it's wide, it's very forgiving, it's banked just right. 
We talked to a couple of the Dodge crew chiefs about what it takes to make your car good at Michigan. It's, it's pretty much wide open and um, very wide where you can pass. And uh, um, that's the biggest thing where you can pass and really don't have the, the big aero problems that you may have at some other tracks. Good balance, good pit stops and good engines. I mean, it takes all three of those things. and and not have anything happen to you uh, is the fourth thing. Big bombshell news story last week, Jeff Burton going to Richard Childress Racing Effective this week. That's going to be interesting. Of course, it's been rumored to have been going on for a long time. Childress said last weekend that the late Dale Earnhardt wanted Jeff Burton to take over the number three car when he retired. He was talking about that back as, as early as 1999. We'll have the race for you on MRN Radio. Tune in and join us Saturday and Sunday afternoon. They qualify tomorrow afternoon at Michigan. For the NASCAR Insider, I'm Joe Moore. What's the perfect sale? Cavalier thinks it's when you save 10000 get 6000 in rebates, and have 1,600 vehicles to choose from. That's the perfect sale. Just combine Cavalier Ford's authorized clearance sale with Ford's model year clearance sales event for the biggest discounts, rebates, and selection ever. This sale is perfect. Plus, finance through 17 banks or get Cavalier's guaranteed credit approval. Not credit acceptance, guaranteed credit approval. Think the perfect Ford's out of reach? Nothing's out of reach this week at Cavalier Ford Chesapeake or the new Cavalier Ford Portsmouth. All week long, this sale is perfect. As of Saturday, Haynes has been selling carpet in Virginia for 70 years. So it's about time we take one day and put on the biggest carpet and rug sale Virginia's ever seen. For one day, we'll take the price of carpet lower than anyone in Virginia ever has. We're talking $35 Stainmaster, $9.99. We're talking $500 rugs, $1.99. We're talking laminate floor, $1.19 a foot. We're talking free padding, free installation, free interest for a year on top of carpet prices that happen once in the life of a great carpet business. Saturday at Haynes. Why am I on this outfit? I can tell you, because I'm nuts. I'm nuts about selling cars at low prices. And at First Team, right now, we're having a sale, and it's just huge. First Team Hyundai knocks up to four grand off every accent. Up to five grand off Elantra, Sonatas, and Santa Fe. Up to six grand off Tiburon and XG350. You get America's best warranty. Ten years, 100,000 miles. Plus, tires for life. So come on down to First Team. We're selling cars for peanuts. We got tires for life, 100% credit acceptance. And I'm telling you, this sale is you. I only want to be with you. You've been waiting all year for this moment to arrive. The one and only clearance, now extended at your Lincoln Mercury dealer. Get model year-end savings on everything, including Mercury Grand Marquis, the highest-ranked full-size car in initial quality, with spacious seating for six. Now get Mercury Grand Marquis GS for around $19,960 after 4000 cash back. See your Lincoln Mercury dealer today. Saturday is opening day of the new Kingsdown store in Haines, and it'll be the biggest opening day ever in the mattress business. If you ever want to sleep on a Kingsdown, this is it. One day of unrepeatable discounts on the entire new line of Kingsdown mattresses. Plus, for the first time ever, take up to three years with no interest. Kingsdown Queen Sets, one chance at $3.99. Every hour, we'll give away a night at the world-famous Ritz-Carlton Hotel. On the greatest day ever to get the world's greatest mattress, Saturday at Haines. The last of the 04s are here. It's Chevy's model year-end event. You'll find amazing year-end offers on the best-selling half-ton regular and extended cab pickups on the road. The 2004 Silverado. Get a total allowance of $7,000 on a specially equipped Silverado regular or extended cab when you finance through your dealer in GMAC. See your local Chevy dealer. Thanks for the company.